Uh, yes, I have, and uh, you know, uh, like I said earlier, uh, the other day, uh, I knew I caught it. I knew I had possession of it, so I mean, I'm, like again, I'm just blessed and thankful. How many times did you play it back? Uh, I really didn't play. I only watched it once. Uh, I saw it a lot everywhere on the internet and stuff. So, so yeah. I think you came in at number five on Sports Center or something like that. Oh yeah, I actually haven't seen it yet. I heard about it though. My sister called me and told me she was really excited about that. <laughs> How many texts or voicemails did you get after that game? Uh, I got a lot, a lot, a lot of support from my family, my friends, and stuff. So I mean, this is good to know that I got a lot of people supporting me and behind my back. Take us through that play. I know uh, Cal's coach said you kind of tricked Jared Goff, uh -huh. and they thought you were playing press coverage. Uh, yeah, they probably they thought I was pressing press coverage at the last minute. Um, I decided to bail, stay on top. Cause I figured they were going to try to. Um, try to deep, deep ball on me, so that's what I did. Stayed on top, top the ball, and make the play. You decided, so it wasn't it wasn't the call. Uh, huh? You said you decided. Is that well? It was man. It was man coverage. Man coverage. So you have the option. Yeah, we have the option. So I decided. To, yeah. Was it a particular look they were giving you, or is it just something you felt? Was uh, this is something I felt because I knew this um, this common sense fourth quarter. I knew they're probably either try a screen or probably take a shot deep as they've been trying me the whole game so um, that's what I figured they, that they would do. That kind of feel like your moment you knew when when that ball was in the air that like, this is the time for me oh, I gotta yeah. make a play? When I saw the ball in the air I just knew that I had to get it I had to make a play and then stop them from winning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, Coach Mora doesn't had never given out a game ball before I uh, gave you the game ball can you talk about that moment uh, I mean, what he said? Was, uh, that meant a lot to meant a lot for me, you know. Uh, me being the first one, he never really gave out a game ball. I mean, that says, shows a lot. And like I said earlier, like I just thank all my teammates and all the staff and all the coaches for the supporting me throughout this whole journey I've been on, and it's just a great feeling. Does it feel kind of like a, a turning point in that journey? Like, oh uh, yeah, definitely. You know, I'm feeling I never felt this healthy since I've been here so far. Uh, I'm getting a lot more experience in the game. Uh, this is real, my first real game experience where I actually got tested. So, mm -hmm. you know, things are getting a lot better. I made a couple of mistakes, actually a lot of mistakes, but, you know, I got to learn from that and get better, and I'll get, continue to get better every day. I think you did enough for one game. I don't <laughs> think you have to worry too much about the mistakes. Thank you. <laughs> as long as your foot was in place. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> when you were, say, a year ago in the UCLA Medical Center, is that the kind of moment you were envisioning? Oh, like yeah, I was just envisioning just getting back out here with my teammates. I mean, being up there in the hospital, I mean, I could see them practicing every day. Um, I told them to give me that room right there so I could just watch them, watch my brothers out here early every morning. Uh, even though I didn't feel good, I knew they were out here at um, 6 a.m. I was, I woke up right with them and just looked out the window. So, you know, I was just real eager to get back out here, and I'm just glad to be back out here. So you specifically asked for a room that overlooked the plane? Oh, yeah. Practice? Yep. <laughs> So you you made a point to wake up. You woke up every morning still. Yeah, me and my dad woke up every morning. <laughs> okay. Same time as they did. Was that tough at times or was that was it hard to watch or is that more just more motivational? Uh just more motivational, you know. Uh, I mean I understood my situation. I knew I was gonna get better. I mean I didn't fear anything, so I knew this. Um, I just I was happy to watch my teammates out here working because I know we have goals and we gotta achieve those goals. And in order to do that, we got to work hard. So, I mean, I was as happy as I am right now. So, <laughs> nothing, nothing's really changed as much. Mm -hmm. How many family and friends members were at the game? Uh, about 12 people. 12 people. A lot of family who I haven't seen in a while. So, that was a great feeling, too. What was it? tell you what their reaction? I mean, they had to think that was almost surreal to watch you do that. Oh, yeah. They were just real, real happy, like I said, um, for all that I've been through. Um, that was their first game. That some of my family members that was the first game they ever been to. So it was just a real special moment.